Welcome back to um, another video and today we're going to be talking uh, and showing you um, some advanced um, drawing skills and features within Draw Plus X4 um, and show you what we can do with the product. So first of all let's um, show you some uh, features that you can, you can use with shapes. So let's just draw a very simple shape and when you've selected it you get all these um, sort of um, spots that you, can that you can play around with. So I can I can drag it, make it bigger, I can rotate it, okay, I can also if I go to the end here, okay, I can use uh, this, this radius tool here to play around with the shape. So you might want a particular shape. Okay, we've also got some colors here to play around with and we've got the uh, inner, um, the outside. We can make it, so we've got opacity which means sort of see-throughness. So um, how much opacity do we want to um, go on that particular shape? Okay, it works better when you've got um, maybe a shape over another shape. Okay, we can also, um, if we go over here, we can um, go and put some effects on the shape. Okay, there's loads of different sort of games. Depends what you're looking for, really. Uh, some sort of glass of shapes and so on. If you want to make your particular object look pretty neat, okay, um, and so on. Loads of effects here to play around with, sort of marbly effects. Okay, depends what depends what you're doing. I just want to show you where those are. Okay, um, so that's a bit about shapes. We can also um, um, crop things as well. So if we wanted to um, say. Uh, just crop in there and just take that little bit out. We can do that. Okay, so that's using the crop tool there, um, and just sort of drag in the, the boundary. So maybe we just want that little bit of of the shape. Okay, um, let's just if you want to undo things, just use the Control Z or the Edit Undo. Uh, I prefer Control Z because it's easy. Or Control Y to redo things. Okay, so that's the crop. Um, we've also got the shadow tool here, where we can. Um, use that to put a shadow on the background of it. Okay, again, you just play around with that to depends what you're trying to look for. Do really. Okay, that's quite cool. Um, obviously, um, we've got more um, tools. We've got an envelope tool, which I quite like. If you wanted to make that shape go a particular angle, uh, it works quite well on text. So I just put in text or te test. Okay, make that a little bit bigger use the envelope tool and then we can stretch that up like that or we'll stretch it like that it looks a bit weird but again depends on what you're trying to do um, we've also got um, perspective tools as well where you can change the angle of it um, okay or change various things uh, a roughen tool as well where we can just highlight it uh, and that will just roughen it Okay, there we go, making it a bit jaggedy there. So undo that to show you again. Just click on bits. There we go. So you click on it, hold it, drag it. Uh, turns what you want to do. There we go, that's a little bit of, looks quite interesting. You just hold on it and then just sort of move the mouse and that will give you more you move it, the more rough it gets. And uh, looks a bit weird, doesn't it? But there we go. That's a roughen tool. Uh, we've also got the 3D tool. Sorry. So if I highlight that, let's come off that tool. Highlight that. Um, and let's come off that now. And I think we probably need to put some more text. Let's put some more text. Text. And then we can make it 3D, so it's a little 3D button down there. Okay. Let's make that through. We can also make this shape 3D if you wanted to. There we go. Play around with that as well. Um, so that's just some tools. Uh, we've also got the um, effects. So if you want particular glows or feathering or outlines on a particular object, you can do. So we want on this text, we want a red. Um, outer glow, okay. We want quite a big intensity. Press OK. There's a red glow on that image there, okay. So, using those for features here, we can um, play around with our objects 
Okay. We can also, um, um, if I just put some more text in here, we can also um, a bit bigger uh, and highlight that. We can also make the the text go around in circular shape by using the text paths. Okay, or in a circle or in a, a direct line like that. And it's just a question of playing around with it. Okay. Um, so that really is some sort of more advanced editing features of, of, of shapes. Um, I hope that gives you some ideas about how you can um, use Draw Plus and more to um, make it look a bit more professional and exciting. Thanks for watching.